It's the Kingpin, ready to have some fun. Now what we talking about today? If you're a fan of the Buffalo Fanatics and enjoy these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you can get notified every time we drop another one of these videos. So many say, well, the NFL is a passing league. The numbers actually don't show that. And I'm gonna break it down. But first, I have to give a shout out to the Fanatics Bing team. Bing, bing, bing. You guys are what make this thing work. So we have to give a shout out to you guys. And also be sure to stay plugged in inside the YouTube community tab where we'll be posting all kinds of content, videos, polls, giveaways, perks, exclusives, limited editions, <laughs> everything. Everything under the sun. So be sure to stay plugged in in the community tab. And also stay tuned for an exclusive only Q&A video that's just for the Fanatics Bing team. So be sure to look out for that inside the community tab. Now let's go. James Hangle, Wendell Walker, Jackson Howard, Matt Livingston, Bada Bing Crosby, Robin H, Ebony Timmons, Chris Bruton, Bill Harvey, The W, Alex Lopez, Roland Carter, Bo the Barber, Superman Cam, Taylor Carley, Nakia Milhouse, Thomas Falzone, Giscard J, Timothy Lewis, Ryan Seelbach, Renardo Parker, Jimmy Tats, Daryl O'Neill, Joshua Thornton, Colin C, Ken Minkar. That list was long. Huge shout out to you guys. Let's keep this thing growing. Now let's get right into this video. So yes, we took a loss to the Eagles and it was a tough loss to take. A tough pill to swallow. But they actually proved that that's actually the formula that consistently wins in the NFL. Many people say the NFL is a passing league. I beg to differ. The numbers actually don't show that. I understand what Brian Dable's trying to do. He's trying to see what we have in Josh Allen. And I can respect that because we all want to know what we have in Josh Allen. But how we're currently using him, he's just not quite ready for that just yet. He needs some more time to be able to read the field better, to read the defenses. And as of right now, he may need to take a step back and understand, okay, let me hand the ball off a little bit more and let the game come to me. Now, if we were to break down what's going on in the NFL right now, right? Because we're all fans of the league. We all want to see what works for this team and what doesn't for that. And instead of being a passing offense, be more of a running offense. I know everyone says we have to keep up with the league. The league is a passing league. Just because you're passing a lot doesn't mean that resorts to wins. Here are the top seven teams right now that lead the league in rushing attempts. A combined record of 41 and 11. You don't need to have a four or 5,000 yard passer. You don't need to have a 300 yard a game passer. All you need is efficiency with a running game. You see, a lot of people look at the Chiefs, the high powered offense, the Rams, the high powered offenses, and think that, man, that's what I want. I want to be able to show off to my coworkers and say, hey, look, you know, we have the guy who's able to get 5,000 yards a season. You know, we have the Kirk Cousins of the world who get that 5,000 yards, that Matthew Stafford of the world who gets that 5,000 yards, that the Patrick Mahomes of the world who gets that 5,000 yards, but they don't win. They don't win the chip. Now, here are the top three rushing teams in the league right now. You have the Ravens, 49ers, and Vikings. But I actually want to focus on the 49ers because I truly think we can emulate exactly what it is that they do. And they're dominating teams because their focus is more on the running game than it is on the pass. You think of a Kyle Shanahan, you think of high-powered offenses. You think of the Kirk Cousins getting 5,000 yards in Washington when Kyle Shanahan was the offensive coordinator. But what he's telling us is, this is still a running league. So as you can see here, the 49ers currently have 272 rushing attempts. They average 182 yards a game, but this is the number I want you to focus on. 39 attempts. On average, 39 times a game. Now, you know, many may say, well, if they're running so much, then what are they doing in the passing game? Now look at Jimmy Garoppolo's stats compared to Josh Allen. 
it's extremely similar. But the only thing you see there is that Josh Allen just has a little bit more passing attempts. Where Jimmy G is not asked to pass for over 30 times a game. Because Kyle Shanahan probably feels, okay, he doesn't have that much experience. And I'm not going to put the game in his hands and let him mess it up. When we can easily run the ball and play efficient at the quarterback position. So I'm saying all that to say this. Brian Dable, I get what you're trying to do. But Josh is not there yet. Not saying that he can't get there. As of right now, he's just not there yet. So let's focus on Frank Gore. Let's focus on Devin Singletary. And let's not waste this elite defense. To me, it's real simple. If we use this formula, I don't see us losing another game. And I'm being dead ass serious. So what do you guys think? Should the Bills be more of a running team? Should we take the ball out of Josh Allen's hands? Is it true that you need to be a passing team in order to win Super Bowls? You guys let me know in the comments. If you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, you can go ahead and hit that like if you want to. I mean, you know. If you want to be a part of the Fanatics Bing team, it's real simple. All you have to do is go to jointhefanatics.com. You go ahead and sign up, you know, join our community, and let's just have some fun. We're only five and two. If we were two and five, I can understand the, this is the same old Bills. But guess what? This ain't the same old Bills. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's the Kingpin, and I'm out.